now in order to remove this refreshing if you go to the view router so vue.js.org or otherwise you try to open view router okay so this is our official uh, official thing view router let's open this router.vue.js let's go to the get started and here you are using get started right so now here if you try to see <clears throat> for making this one so router view we have understood about the router view and we need to learn about the router link now so instead of using this regular anchor tags we need to use a custom component router link so that means instead of using a regular in the navigation anchor links he is asking us to use the router link so let's try to use it router link so router link so router link router link and here we need to add a home so href for using this href we need to use two slash like this two slash so this instead of using this one we need to use this one so now the same thing we can use it for here also so router link this one is about and here we need to use slash about and here this one is in contact we need to use the slash contact There are spaces are there right remove the spaces slash contact okay then now this one is completed now let's go into the app so we are able to see content now this time the page is not refreshing previously the page used to refresh but this time the page is not refreshing only this one is changing and if you try to see up in the bro in the browser address bar we are able to see the change in the address thing but the url uh, but the design has been gone away right so the reason why it has gone away is because of the classes bootstrap classes it has applied so you can apply the bootstrap classes here directly class is equal to nav hyphen link so this is the bootstrap class which we have which it has added for the anchor link earlier so let's try to add it here yeah if you try to see the output now i am able to see get the same output but this time the page is not refreshing okay if you try to see here the page is not refreshing but here i am able to see the content is changing and also the address bar is also getting changed okay so now one thing we have achieved so this is the router link so whenever we are trying to use the <coughs> single page application the routing feature if you want to use it means instead of using this anchor link we need to use the router link so href we need to use the two so this is the thing which you need to use it and another one what i want to tell you is what i want to explain you is the router link is completed now let's say that i am in the about page so here somehow we need to highlight this about about link we need to highlight this about link so how we can i highlight this one is for example if i click on this about if you inspect the element okay if you go and inspect the element so here you will be able to see so here for this about the view router has added some extra classes that is nothing but router hyphen link hyphen active router hyphen link hyphen exact hyphen active and if you try to see this li so for this li nothing is there and if you try to see for this anchor link nothing is there now if i click on the contact see immediately for this contact router link active these all the things has been changed for this one this one nothing is there if i go to the home see now home for home it has applied this router link and all the things for about contact is not there by using this class class link uh, sorry by the, using this class name so we can apply the css for this one so how can i apply here in this one i can go and i can apply style scope and here i can use router hyphen link hyphen active here i can add background background hash a or something like this so anything so this is the router link active i have applied now if you try to see for home it has been highlighted if i go to the about see so this is how we can apply the active active say active class so this is how we can apply the active class for the for the particular nav links for example let's say that you didn't like this router link active so this name i didn't like it so if you want to change this one to some other uh, custom name means we can also change that one so in the settings so in the main.js when you are configuring this one router so here you can add option link active class so it should be something like let's say that active so i want to get active okay instead of router link active i want to get only active 
now if you go here so this page has been refreshed so now we are able not able to see anything so here if you try to see active is there see so the bootstrap active has a default one showing this one in the dark color if i try to go about contact so here it is showing in the dark color but i want to apply something by so you can you can apply instead of this one i can go into this one and i can do instead of active i can use this active i need to use the active here now if you go here see now the same thing happens okay so now this time instead of having active router link active something router link active we are having only active so a router link exact active if you want to change it means you can also change it using the in the configuration only so link active you will be having link active exact so what is this exact thing we will explain when we are learning about the params and all those things we will try to explain i will try to explain it so here we can <clears throat> so this is how we can navigate through the pages and we can add the pages so using the router link but, but when you added this router link custom component but here it, you, are, you are able to see that anchor link hia hrf is only is only rendered here in this one but in our code we have written that one as something like router hyphen link right so but we are able to get an ahrf like this so this is how we will be using so now we have did this one so now we have did this one so let's go on uh, let's go on to the another concept so about this one. so this is all about how to how, how to navigate through the links using the router hyphen link <clears throat> 